Hello, hi Marcelo, and on this tutorial we will learn how to write and read an Excel file on OpenRPA. So let's get started. So I've already created the workflow on OpenRPA that already creates a data table with two columns and then adds rows to the data table created. So I suggest to replicate what I am here. So use the create data table activity to create a data table and then use the add data row activity to add rows to the data table. So we'll get started by learning how to write a data table on the Excel file. So to write a data table on Excel file here on the toolbox, let's search for the activity write Excel. And what this activity does, it just writes data on Excel file. So let's drag it to our workflow. So first we have to decay the path of an existing Excel file or of the Excel file that will be created by the activity. So if we indicate the path where it doesn't exist any Excel file, uh, it will create the Excel file. So let's click on this button. And here we can see that I am on the desktop. So here I will define the name of the Excel file that I want to be created. So it can be data.xlsx. And let's click on save. So here we can see the path on this case of the Excel file that will be created because we don't have any Excel file with this name on this path. So uh, now we have to indicate the data to write on the Excel file. So we can indicate the data set to write on the Excel or a data table. So in our case, we have the data table. So the data table has the name DT underscore Excel. So here, let's call the data table. And uh, then make sure the include adder option is set to true to include the data table adders on the first row of the Excel file. So let's see how it works. So let's click on play. So the robot already executed. And here we can see the created Excel file. Let's open it. And here we can see that was written the data from the data table. So now that we have learned how to write an Excel file, let's learn how to read an Excel file. So I'll just comment these two activities. So the sequence and the write Excel activity. So let's comment them. So, uh, to read an Excel file, uh, let's use an activity for that. So here on the toolbox, let's search for read Excel. And as the name indicates, this activity reads data from an Excel file. So let's drag this activity to our sequence. And first we have to indicate the Excel file to read. So let's indicate the one that was created by this robot before. So let's click here and indicate the file. And then as a health put, we'll have a data set returned by these activities. So a data set is a collection of tables. So basically it returns a table for each sheet that we have on our Excel file. So let's create a data set. So I'll here define uh, the variable name and now let's use a shortcut control plus key to create the variable from here and here we can see that it was created and now to see the data from each row of the excel file we can create a loop for each row so let's use the activity for each data row and here we have to indicate the table that has the rows so here we have the data set and so as we know, a data set is a collection of tables and here this activity read Excel will basically uh, create the data table for each sheet of the Excel file. So in our case, we have only one. Uh, we can here after calling data set, add tables. 
So add dot tables and then open parentheses and decay the index of the table. So as we know that we will have only one table, it's the index zero. And now here inside of the for each data row, let's use a right line activity. And so let's print first the name that we have on the Excel file. So let's call the row or first let's have your name and then let's call row then open parentheses and indicate the com name or index com of the value that we want so let's indicate the com name so here uh, between parentheses and double quotes let's insert the com name and then add dot to string And then let's just add here a new line. And now let's here have row. And let's call here the row again. Open parentheses, open the word quotes, and insert the com name row. And then dot to string. So let's see how it's working. I will close the Excel file and now let's click on play. So the robot already executed. So let's open here the output panel and here we can see so that for each row of our Excel file we have here so the date of the row, so the name and row from each row. If you want to learn more about OpenRPA, I have a course on Udemy that teaches OpenRPA from scratch. So we get started by understanding what's RPA and then we we'll learn how to install OpenRPA on our computer. Then we we'll learn the basics like snippets, variables, arguments and so on. And then we'll develop robots from scratch in different scenarios. So if you want to know more details about the course, you can find on the description of this tutorial the link to the page of this course so you can see the details and the course curriculum. And that's it. Also, if you like this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and enable the notification as well so you'll get notified on this tutorial that I launch here on the channel.